Welcome to Anatomy and Physiology at Glen Oaks Community College. I'm Dr. Ren Hartung. For this video, I'm going to talk about homeostasis. And I'll start with a, the simplest definition that I can give you. Homeostasis is the dynamic state of equilibrium of the internal environment that all living organisms must maintain. So for the human body, that means, and I'll dissect it piece by piece, it's a dynamic state of equilibrium, so it's always changing, always changing a little bit, but there's a balance happening. That's the equilibrium part. You can kind of think of it, I think of it as the balancing act of life. Imagine I'm standing on a balance beam, and somebody who's on a balance beam, especially if they're not real good at it, you'll see them moving. They'll have to move to maintain their balance, right? So they're dynamic, they're ever moving, but they're still balanced because they're on the beam. If the balance gets off too much, they might fall off the beam. And for the body's environment, you could imagine a dramatic imbalance of homeostatic, of homeostasis. That's going to be disease or worst case scenario, it's going to be death. So that's the basic definition. Um, it's also good to describe specific examples maybe. So I'm gonna give you kind of a graphical example of one. Imagine over here on the y-axis, I've got um, blood glucose levels. And then down here on the x-axis, I've got time. So maybe one day of time monitoring someone's blood glucose levels. They might wake up in the morning and their blood glucose might be a little bit low and then they'll eat breakfast and maybe the blood glucose will come up some. And then as the day goes on, their blood glucose may go down a bit. And then lunchtime maybe comes around and the blood glucose comes up more. And then it's going to start to come down again. But notice that through the course of that day, this person's blood sugar was never exactly the same. It was going up and down and up and down um, under hormonal control. And depending on what the person was eating, the blood glucose is going to vary. But also notice that that blood glucose stayed within a certain range. And I'll represent that range with these two lines here. And the normal range for blood sugar is around, if I remember, 90 to 120 milligrams per deciliter. Their blood glucose will stay within that range. That's the normal healthy range. If they went outside of that range, so let's imagine that their blood glucose went way up here over 200 and maybe stayed up there, that's diabetes, that's a disease, that's a disorder. So when we're outside of homeostasis, there's some kind of disease happening. At least if we're outside of homeostasis for too long. The opposite for glucose is also true. Imagine that the glucose went down below 90 and stayed down there. That's bad too. That's hypoglycemia, which by the way feels even worse. And... Um, your brain stops working correctly, for example, at low levels of glucose. So either way, we would have something bad happening. It would be some form of either short or long-term disease state. Um, set point is something that's often mentioned when talking about homeostasis. So let me draw a dashed line through here. And you could imagine that this is where the body is trying to keep glucose, is where that dashed line is. And the blood glucose is varying around that dashed line. Um, we determine the set point based on the average of these variables over a given length of time. That's how we figure out what set point is supposed to be. Just in case you need to know what set point is. Um, now I've talked about blood glucose, but there are a lot of variables of the internal environment that are under homeostatic mechanisms or that are maintained homeostatically. For example, um, calcium levels in the bloodstream, potassium levels in the bloodstream, oxygen levels in the bloodstream, blood pressure. Um, what else? Nutrient levels other than glucose. So for, for example, amino acid levels, uh, nucleic acid levels in the bloodstream. And some of them have wider homeostatic ranges, so you can vary quite a bit. And some of them have much tighter homeostatic ranges. For example, um, Carbon dioxide has a pretty tight homeostatic range, and so does potassium levels. 
um, and calcium levels. They have really tight homeostatic ranges. So anyway, that's homeostasis in a nutshell. Again, a dynamic state of equilibrium of the internal environment that must be maintained to be healthy or for a living thing to stay alive, especially us humans. Um, don't mistake homeostasis as a verb. Homeostasis is something we have to maintain. It's simply a description of the fact that we maintain this, um, this balanced level. The way that that is maintained is negative feedback loops. And that's uh, probably a subject for another video. So that's homeostasis. As always, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments down below. And thank you once again for watching.